If you've watched Gonzaga basketball games over the years, you've assuredly heard the voice of ESPN color commentator Sean Farnham. He has assigned a lot of Gonzaga matchups. Today, though, he faces an interesting dilemma headed into the Final Four. Why? Because he's an alum of UCLA. And not only that, he played basketball for the Bruins. You have like your real child and then you adopt like this really cool child and you're like, you both are great. And then they all of a sudden they're going to fight. Gonzaga and UCLA will not just fight on Saturday. It's win or go home. My heart and my love is for the school that I played for for four years. Uh, but the community of Spokane and uh, Gonzaga is the first game I ever called at ESPN was the Zags game. And to call more games, I think over the last 11 years, of the Gonzaga Bulldog program than any other announcer that covers the sport. Uh, there's certainly uh, a part of my heart that goes, you know what, I, I really want to see this continue. No matter what, the result of Saturday's matchup means there will be a West Coast team in the national championship game. Farnham says Gonzaga has really held down the West Coast in terms of basketball for the last 20 years, but seeing the Pac-12 join the party this tournament has been thrilling. Being a national media member, yeah, I was I'm like, dude, look at the West Coast. The West Coast has some really good hoop going on. Uh, and this NCAA tournament, because of the Pac-12 and how well they performed, and the fact that UCLA is here, is kind of an announcement to the rest of the nation that, hey, by the way, you can watch good hoops west of the Mississippi. At the end of the day, Farnham is going with his head over his heart in this matchup. I said this team was going to go undefeated and win a national championship. I'm not backing down from that now because they're playing UCLA. Thanks to Sean so much for his time. We'll be right back.